What's up, everybody? It's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials. Pick up your premium membership. It is 50 cents a day. And also, please do not hesitate to stop by CMPKids.com. Check out the new product, Memphis Gold, if you're an Ableton Live user for versions 9 and 10 and for everyone else you have an entire site worth of content hit me up on ig if you ever have any questions it's the fastest way to get it to a hold of me easy money so let's get into what we're looking at today and i just uh i system capped uh this song here <laughs> So I really like this uh, this nice open space here, um, and that's actually what I want to chop. So I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the work inside Studio One. Just make sure that we get the uh, the tempo correct and everything, um, so that when we take it into Sample One, it makes sense. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna try to get it to loop right first, and then that'll make it um, easy to chop. And any any like time stretching I'm I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it out here. Cause uh, a lot of times with these with these older songs, it'll um, especially like in a more dramatic break like this, the band will like slow down while they're playing. So I'm gonna hold down the uh, option key, lower right hand quarter of the region, and just scoot that back. See if we could get a loop. <laughs> Them having percussion in this piece of music is very helpful. I'm going to press uh, Command B and go ahead and bounce it so that um, I'm not dealing with the whole sample. I'm going to hit the 7 key and bring up bring up the uh, bend marker tool. And then I'm going to click so I can see my bend markers. And what I want to do is I want to take these percussion pieces. This one sounds all right, but like this, this, two, this one that's uh, starting over on the next bar. I want to make it so that that really lines up on the beat. I don't want to do anything like too drastic. Like you could go in here and hard snap these and get them all to quantize. Um, but I don't know that I want to sacrifice the groove like that. So just one bend marker. We'll go ahead and bounce it again. I've got my quantize set to half beats. Go ahead and press split it grid. And... We will send this to a new sample one. And let's see what we get when we pitch it up a little bit. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and work with that. All right, so I like the way I like the way that that chop is working now. I'm going to go ahead and bounce this out get into the audio world and use Melodyne real quick. This is a B flat minor that we're dealing with. All right. Let me get a, let me use a playlist MIDI drums five. See if we could find a, see if we could find some patterns here.
go ahead and duplicate this out and we'll get this uh get this 808 see if we get this sounding good in this b flat minor key and if not like if you ever wind up with a sample that you know you're trying to do the the trap drum thing with and it doesn't sound good at the uh at the root note of the sample what you need to do is you just you either you either got to pitch that sample up or decide that like hey this isn't going to be uh an 808 based um vibe building out your arrangement maybe do a little variation in your audio i'm uh sometimes i like to reverse a bar inside of the pattern <laughs> But yeah, that's a uh, that's a quick and easy method when you um you know if you're if you're flipping through samples and you know one of the uh, one of the um the greatest skills that you're gonna have making sample based music is you're gonna want to be able to just listen to a song, hear that you know in in this five minutes piece of music, hear that small little you know one or two bar section, and then be able to be able to grab it. Put, you know, put it on beat and then chop it up, continue, continue to catch the beat with it. Like you see, there was no, there was no automatic um, pitch or uh, automatic um, tempo detection or nothing like that. Just keep on going with the feeling. And what you're going to find out if, if you wind up just uh, being patient and taking the time to do it like this, you'll wind up catching some grooves that may be using something like Serato sample Um would have wound up kind of correcting for you and making your stuff sound a little bit more sterile. Like the fact that the, um, that the, t you know, that, that this isn't like a perfectly quantized, uh, a melody like that is going to only add to the character and the, and the bop of the overall song. And that's what you want, man. So this is CMP with craft master production studio one, tutorials.com. You guys keep it simple, but don't be basic and we'll see you on the next one.